What's up, tech fans? Elric Ferris back here once again, the Tech of Tomorrow channel, getting ready to do our triple SLI review and benchmarks with three GTX 660 Ti's from the people over at ASUS. Now, the card I'm talking about is their Direct CU2 card. You guys can see that I have three of them back here behind me as we prep and get ready, like I said just a second ago, to do our triple SLI testing. Now, a lot of different things come in the Direct CU2. You guys know it's direct copper, it mounts directly to it. It offers much more superior cooling, which actually helps you in the long run with your overclock. Since all overclocking is now done through the boost, the cooler and more stable your card runs, the more headroom you have to do this. So with that said, let's jump in and let's do the unboxing and first look of this new Direct CU2 GTX 660 Ti from the people over at ASUS. All right, folks, by now, I imagine that most of you people know what the GTX 660 Ti is. It's been going around for a long time. Basically, this card is a $300 killer to AMD solution. You guys can see it's the Direct CU2 version, 20% cooler, vastly quieter, two gigabytes GDR5 memory. It's got DigiPlus VRM, their GPU tweak. That's how they do all their overclocking. Now, as we take a look at the back of the box, you can see these guys are once again reiterating their features, the DirectCU2, the DigiPlus VRM with super alloy power, 30% less power, 2.5 longer durability, which means its lifespan is gonna be longer, and their GPU tweak used for overclocking, monitoring the card works really well. All you do is install it, you can look at it in the Windows environment and totally adjust your stuff. So here's a tab on the side, just going to pop that, I'm going to pull it here. I will go ahead and just remove the box now from the box. Nice and simply, set that off the side. Go ahead and pop the cap. As we open the box, we can see right here, this is gonna be the accessories box. It's gonna carry all the accessories for the card. So I'll go ahead and just flip this open right now so we can take a look at that first. Just get all this stuff out in here and look at it one by one and then put it back in the box. So we've got speed setup guide, driver CD, Got the Molex 26 pin. And actually, folks, I don't know what happened. We've been uh, going through a lot of these boxes. I believe this one does come with two of these actually in the box, not just one. So I don't know what happened to it, but it does come with two of them in the box. I only have one. Then finally, we have the DVI to VGA adapter. Pretty easy stuff, but really all you need. Then we'll come down to it underneath the card. Now, when Azus sends cards out to reviewers, they don't put them in the static bag. I don't know why they put the static bag on top and they put the card underneath. So there's the card. We'll go ahead and pull the card out. Here you guys can see the top of the card, the two fan solution. Up here on top, you can see all the heat pipes. Notice the heat pipe is one solid piece all the way around, it goes all the way around the card. Like we said before, the direct CU2 means direct copper, which means that the cooling plate is directly to the GPU, allowing for better heat dissipation. So it basically goes into all this metal, the fans blow it away, and that takes the heat away from your card. You can see we have two SLI fingers here on top, two six pin power connectors here, obviously the back of the card. Now it only takes four screws to remove this, Rotter reference based cards take 11 screws. This one only takes four screws to completely demount the fan assembly. You can see the fan assembly extends far past the end of the card. Give you guys an inside view like that. Flip it around over here, show it to you. You can see where the fan connector plugs in. The PCIe 3.0 interface. Here's the rear IO, two DVI. Display port and HDMI. This is actually my favorite. I've stated this before. This is my favorite type of rear I.O. All right, folks, here you have it. This is everything that comes in the box. All of the basic features of the new Asus GTX 660 Ti Direct CU version. Also, I know many people out there all the time ask, What's really the damn difference between a reference card and a non-reference card? Well, make sure you check and click out the link in the description below. We have a video over on motherboards.org, our sister channel, where we completely tear the cards apart and show you the difference between the reference and the standard cards. Peace out. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow as we jump into triple SLI badass goodness.